The repetition has two aspects. Quality and quantity. We can determine the quality of the rep by calculate the time taken to lift and lower the weight. The speed at which the rep is performed is called the repetition cadence or tempo. Each repetition has three phases. Lower, pause, and lift. The best rep tempo is 212, 2 seconds lowering phase, 1 second pause phase, and 2 seconds lift phase. A very quick repetition cadence, such as a 1 1, no pause phase, typically allows the use of a heavier weight because it actually decreases intensity but this is not the optimal way to build muscle mass. Stimulating muscle growth requires repetitions performed in a slow, precise tempo. The muscle must be kept under tension throughout the movement. It's the time under tension that provides the stimulus for muscle growth. During each rep, be sure to focus your mind on the muscle contracting and nothing else. There are three types of muscle contraction. Concentric, isometric, and eccentric. You should focus on all the three types of contraction to get the maximum benefit from each rep. For example, when you raise a cup of tea from the table to your mouth, your biceps is performing a concentric or postive contraction. When you lower the cup back to the table, your biceps is performing an eccentric or negative contraction. And if you hold the cup still as you walk across the kitchen, your biceps is performing an isometric or static contraction. so that your biceps must work at three phases or else you will drop the cup. Your muscle can lower more weight than it can hold still. Your muscle can hold more weight than it can lift. Therefore, an eccentric contraction is stronger than an isometric contraction, and the isometric contraction is stronger than a concentric contraction. For example, when you do barbell curl. When your biceps fails during the concentric phase, and you can't lift the weight anymore. You can still hold the weight at that point. Then, when the isometric contraction fails, and you can't hold the weight any further. You are still able to lower the weight under control because the eccentric contraction is stronger. This is the science behind a precision rep. Performing the repetition in a slow, controlled manner means you do not waste muscular contraction. You make the best use of the negative, static, and positive portions of the rep. Furthermore, slowing down repetition cadence is a method of increasing intensity. Quantity of rep involves two factors. How many reps to perform, and how much weight to use. For example, your biceps must contract only a few fibers to raise a 20 kilogram weight. But it must bring more fibers into action to lift a 40 kilogram weight. To lift the heaviest possible weight, your muscle must contract all of its fibers. When this happens, the muscle receives its maximum stimulus. Maximum stimulus leads to maximum adaptation which leads to bigger muscles. 
A muscle's response to stimulation involves neural, strength, hypertrophic, size, and metabolic, endurance, adaptation. Repetitions must be performed to the point of muscular failure to elicit the maximum response. As the number of repetitions increases, the adaptive response shifts from strength to hypertrophy and then to endurance. Doing one rep maximum, one RM, produces a neural adaptation that increases muscle strength. A 6 to 8 rep causes a hypertrophic response that increase muscle size. More than 10 reps experience is more of an endurance stimulus which fails to develop either the strength or size. Scientific studies indicate that the optimal hypertrophy training technique involves a set of 6 to 8 reps performed to the point of muscular failure using the heaviest possible load. The best way for producing maximum muscular hypertrophy is to lift a weight equal to 75 to 80 percent percent of your 1RM repeatedly to failure, until you can no longer complete another rep. During that last rep, the muscle is forced to contract all of its fibers, so the maximum stimulus had been achieved and the muscle will grow. This table summarizes the load required for a range of repetitions based on weight lifted during a 1RM. A hypertrophic training technique consisting of 6 to 8 reps to failure requires a load equal to 75 to 80 percent of your 1RM. Muscles grow most effectively when the maximum stimulus, muscular failure, is achieved within this rep range. For more videos, like and subscribe.